I asked AI to turn my dog into a crypto millionaire and make a little music video out of it. And here's a little sneak peek of that. Diamond paws, yeah, he cracked the code. Bitcoin bones in a penthouse mode. Silk collar, watch your eyes see the bite. Surrounded by queens every single night. Diamond paws, living large, no stress. From doghouse dreams to excess, excess. Who's a good boy? Everybody knows. Crypto king with a diamond nose. I didn't write these lyrics, I didn't come up with a story, I didn't even animate a single image or video that you saw. Everything was completely done by AI. I'm gonna show you now how to do this step by step. I'm gonna keep it short, sweet and show you some more examples along the way. So by the end of the video you know exactly how to create something similar. Alright, let's dive in. So first of all, I went to ChatGPT and I prompted it to make me a song about my dog who got rich with crypto and is now living a luxury life surrounded by beautiful women. And this is the reply that I got. I didn't change any of this, I just copied this entire thing and then I moved on to step number two. I then went to an AI music generator, you can use Suno for this or any one you feel most comfortable with. I use Top Media AI simply because I have my subscription here. Um, I will paste in the lyrics right here in this interface where it says lyrics. I will delete any of the excess emojis it just added. And then you can define a style. You can keep this very simple like adding something like hip hop or trap or soul or whatever and you can just simply try a couple of generations. This is enough to create a song. You can leave this empty and try a few things out. I tried a few uh, generations here. I think I tried about 10 in total until I ended up with something I was happy with, uh, which is this one. Um, and for the style that I defined, I asked some help with ChatGPT as well. Um, simply go to ChatGPT once it created you a song and ask it to define you a style optimized for Suno. And as well, if you want, you can, add, you can ask it to create optimized headers as well. So it adds these things. This is optional. Um, sometimes you even get better results without adding these things. It's trial and error with this stuff. Just go and try some things out until you're happy with something. Um, I was happy with this song, so I ended up downloading it. You can download the mp3, the WAV file. So let's click this download button and then let's move on to step number three. I then went to OpenArt. OpenArt is an all-in-one platform for image generation, video generation and many different other things. I will put a link to this in the description below. Um, they also have this amazing feature called Story, which basically allows us to create entire music videos, explainer videos, all in a matter of a few clicks. And this is what I will be doing as well. However, first there's something important and just for the sake of doing things right, I will show you how to create a proper image for your character in OpenArt as well. So let's click on image and next we're going to click on create now. As a model, we're going to be choosing Nano Banana Pro. This is going to give us the best quality results. And what you want to do next is simply find some quality images of whatever model it is you want to be using. This can be fictional, this can be real. Uh, for my dog, I uploaded three images. One high quality image of his face, a close up shot, a side view shot and a full body shot. I then prompted it to give me a photorealistic full body image on a white background. I chose 4K as a resolution for best possible quality and then I chose 16 by 9 as the output size. Um, then we're going to click on create and what the AI is going to do is it's going to make our image, it's going to make one high quality image of our subject. All right, the AI has completed with the image generation. So let's take a closer look. Uh, this is the first result it came up with and this is the second one. Both are very high quality, both look absolutely incredible. However, I noticed that this one just looks a little bit more like my dog. Uh, the difference is very tiny, but obviously I can tell. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download this image right here. 
Now I decided to take it one step further. I used our reference image and I prompted the AI to give my dog a brown leather collar with a gold Bitcoin coin attached to it, since it will be very suitable for the music video that we will be creating. I once again chose 16 by 9 format, 4K resolution and I hit on create. And this is what the AI generated for me. Obviously, there's so much more things you can do with this. Just to give you some inspiration, here's my dog fighting off a pack of wolves using a simple prompt and one reference image. Here he is riding a T-Rex. Uh, here's a Christmas card that I made for this year um, where I use myself and my dog as the reference images. And ultimately, here's a movie poster that I created starring myself and my dog in the legendary movie I am legend. All right, let's go back to OpenArt's homepage and let's click on create music video. It's gonna give us a couple of options here and I've tried out all of them and they're all very great to use. However, you need to know how to do it properly. And in my next video, I'm gonna go really in depth into all of them and tell you what to avoid or basically how to avoid spending unnecessary credits because this stuff isn't free to do. Uh, right now, I'm gonna focus on narrative video, which is gonna bring our music to life with a story. So first of all, let's upload our song. I'm gonna drag and drop mine in there. It's about one minute and 10 seconds long. I'm gonna click on confirm. This is gonna take a couple of seconds to complete. Um, just make sure when this is done that the audio is working correctly. Um, simply by clicking on the play button once it's done uploading. In my case, it seems to be working just fine. So let's move on to the next step. Right here, we can choose our character. Now, I've played around with this stuff and OpenArt has this feature right here, which is what I wanna highlight for a second or not really highlight because I've gotten some very mixed results with that. Right now, I'm gonna quickly show you a music video that I've created using their character mode and using my dog as the character as well. Out on a walk, sniff, sniff, hooray Found a snack along the way Thought it looked fine, didn't hesitate Didn't know then it was a mistake My tummy hurt, I felt off all day That bad feeling wouldn't go away I stayed real quiet, feeling unsure Hoping this wasn't something more Car ride to the vet Feeling like hell, puked on the seat, oh what a smell! At the vet, they checked me out, said you're okay, no need to pout. Now I feel better, back on my feet, lesson learned about what not to eat. This video was based on a true story, by the way, unfortunately. Um, the reason I showed you this is simply because I want to show you the difference between what an open art created character looks like uh, between the one that we've just created using Google Nano Banana, which is the one I'm going to be uploading here. It's the one I will be using for this video. I'm simply going to drag and drop my character in here and I'm going to name him Maurice Bitcoin. I'm going to click on create character. And next, it's going to ask us for a storyline. We can leave this empty. However, also here, I've gotten better results by simply asking um, ChatGPT or any other AI to make a little short story based on the song that we have. So that's what I did here as well. Um, I basically prompted it to describe the story of this song in a few sentences, and it gave me this prompt, which I will simply copy and which I will paste in here. We have 500 characters maximum, so I'm going to remove this section here. Um, I am going to use this one take style. I like this a lot for music videos in particular. It's going to make the flow of the video feel much better. Next, I'm going to choose match character as the visual style. I'm going to keep the aspect ratio in 16 by 9. I'm going to keep this option selected right here. I do want to match my video to the beat and I recommend you to turn this off. I don't want any captions. It's going to mess up more often than not. 
And yeah, sometimes the AI is, isn't able to understand your lyrics, so it will just look, look weird and some words will be wrong and it will just mess up your entire video. So you can always add these captions in later. In my previous video, I show you exactly how to do this within CapCut, but there are other ways as well. Uh, just avoid using this, um, is what I'm trying to say. For the image model, um, you have multiple options here. I am going to choose Nano Banana Pro. Um, let's look at the credits here. It's gonna be more expensive than Seadream. Seadream is great, especially for people, especially for a lot of different things. I noticed, however, for dogs, it sometimes does some weird things. Even though it's a lot cheaper and having to regenerate images is gonna be a lot cheaper as well. I'm just gonna stick with Nano Banana Pro. It's a bit uh, less changing things later on when we get to the storyboard of the video. Um, I'm going to choose 1080p resolution. Um, also, this is going to affect the price a little bit, um, but you can also choose better video models. I will be choosing Kling 2.5 simply because I know I get some great results with that and I've gotten some great results with that. Kling 01 is very great as well, but for this type of video, obviously Kling 01 is newer, it's gonna be a bit more consistent, but I know Kling 2.5 is just as reliable for the type of video that I'm gonna make, so I'm not gonna be spending any unnecessary credits here. And that's it for setting the options. Right now we can create the full video or we can preview the storyboard. I recommend you to always preview the storyboard. This isn't gonna cost you more credits. Um, you're gonna be spending these credits anyway when creating the full video. This right here is basically just to create the images and the storyline. Um, just this is still in beta mode. You're gonna have to change some images. You're gonna have to change some of the script a little bit to make it better. So always use this option, which is what I'm gonna do right now as well. All right, the AI has now finished creating our storyboard and let's quickly go over this. Right here, we can see the image description and then the image it generated as well. Um, let's take a look at this first one. It looks really sharp. I'm not gonna change this. You can change the descriptions. You can also change this here on the right hand side, which is basically uh, a description for the AI to animate this image into a video. Uh, always double check this because sometimes it's just gonna add some weird stuff that is kind of unnecessary. So you can edit this, you can change things around, make it better. Uh, right here I noticed that this coin is kind of looking off so I might retry this image myself. Uh, retrying images is not very expensive by the way. Um, this image, this doesn't look like my dog at all. So I will most definitely retry this one. Um, let's continue. Uh, again, in a future video, I'm gonna go more in depth into this. Um, the, <laughs> this picture right here, just chilling with some women in his luxury apartment, um, on his balcony. Again, with the gold coin though, that's a bit shiny. I'm. I'm very curious to see how this video is going to turn out. Um, I'm going to keep this short in the next video. Once again, I'm going to go really deep into this and just tell you, give you some tips and tricks for animating this or changing images. Right now, I'm going to make a couple of adjustments, I think, and then I'm going to generate the full story. So let's take a look at what the AI created for us. Used to chase sticks in the park all day Now charts on the screen go green, not gray Cold while they tucked in a velvet ease Bought a dip, now we dying in B-side sheet Late nights, candles, Monaco glow Private jets with a tennis balls go From muddy paws to a marble floor He don't fetch anymore, he owns the store Diamond paws, yeah, he cracked the code Bitcoin bones in a penthouse mode Silk collar, watch the ice, see the bite Surrounded by queens every single night Diamond paws, living large, no stress From doghouse dreams to excess, excess Who's a good boy? Everybody knows Nose. Crypto king with a diamond nose Market dips, he just takes a nap uh, Passive income while he's on your lap uh, Still loyal, still 
chasing fire oh, She's richer than you No offense, hard Alright, I think the best way to conclude this video is to show the contrast of what I've just created versus what we're facing in real life at this moment. Um, he doesn't seem to mind the snow all too much either, but I think he might prefer his yacht right about now. Um, anyway, I hope you were as impressed by what the AI was able to do in this video as I was. Um, to go from nothing to a song to then an entire music video in yeah, 20 minutes or so and for the quality you get in return it's just mind-blowing to me what you're able to do with AI these days and it's only gonna get better as well um, the video model that I've used Kling 2.5 I probably in hindsight should have gone for the somewhat better model um, I could have avoided some of the irregularities that you saw in my video. I purposely didn't edit it though, because once you've generated your video, you can go into editing mode and you can edit each clip individually, uh, pretty much. So uh, OpenArt offers that flexibility, which is a great feature to have. Um, I think my dog just spotted a deer or something. Um, but I'm gonna get more into that in my next video. For now though, I'm gonna leave it at this. Um, one last thing uh, that I wanna briefly mention is the price. I think I spent around $2.50 for this entire music video, which in my opinion, using the highest quality image model and one of the more higher quality video models, uh, yeah, it's still pretty cheap. Um, I think some people are gonna mention that it's too expensive. Uh, imagine telling someone this a couple of years ago that you're able to create something like this for this cheap. Uh, I think no one would believe you. Um, then again, there are ways to do it cheaper. Uh, you can go the manual approach and save some credits there. Um, but for creating unique, highly unique AI music videos uh, with a story like I did, I think open art and especially their story mode is gonna be your best bet. Although they do have some work to do. Um, and yeah, in my next video, I'm gonna just go over the things you should avoid uh, by uh, while using these features and also go more in their other story features like the visualizer and uh, also the singing mode, <laughs> which is, uh, is quite a nice feature they have. Uh, for now, I'm gonna leave it at this. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Consider giving it a like if you do, um, and consider sticking around if you enjoy the content. While my dog is still chasing deer. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers.